Well, gear fans, we've got a ART Pro VLA2 compressor unboxing used from Reverb. Purchased before I went on my little Reverb boycott. Um, Wait a few weeks for it to come in. The, uh, the box looks bad, but it wasn't for lack of the uh, Reverb user shipping it real nice. They shipped it really nice. Just I think maybe it's just an older box. Because these units are a little older, so... Hopefully there's still some uh, some life left in the tubes, but ART Pro VLA2 manual. So these have been around for a long while, and I've never taken advantage of getting one, even though I believe ART is a Canadian company, so they'd be extra cheap for us, made in Asia, but uh, distributed here in Canada. Distributed everywhere, though, I think. Um, and then we've got the uh, just the power cord, so there's really not not a lot here to look at. So we'll just take a look here now at the front panel. I don't know how well the camera is going to see that. I don't like power power buttons on on rack equipment, but uh, sometimes that's what we do. I'm just going to take the camera and free freehand it here. It'd be great if while I'm doing this video someone upstairs could make just as much noise as they possibly could. Um, I wouldn't want them to make no noise. Rather, if they could just come down and jump in the middle of the shot while I film, that'd be great. So let's see what we got here. The ART Pro VLA 2. Two channels. Is that still the plastic on here? Oh, look at that. The plastic's still on here. Which they had probably just shoved that in the box and then refound it and then um, <clears throat> stuck it back on when they packaged it. So yeah, it's two channels. You can either think of it as left-right stereo or you can think of it as I've got a compressor here, one. I've got a compressor here, number two. So though these are cheap, you know, somewhere along the lines of 200, 200 bucks Canadian per side, which is probably... Wow, would that be 150 US aside if it's 200 Canadian aside, something like that? Then there's the taxes and all that, but cheap, cheap. But the thing is, is cheap, but supposedly good. They say you can go to damn near any high-end studio in the world and they may have one of these kicking around. Um, some some producers, higher-end producers that, that do this for real, for a living, will say, you know, they'll be in Nashville and they'll find a couple of these just kicking around, which means prosumer cheap Chinese stuff but very usable in the uh, in the professional setting let's just see if we can turn this around oh I'm going from the wrong way kind of so I'm pleased with it I got it for I think I paid 380 Canadian used off reverb would have got it for <coughs> even less but of course the seller's got to pay them high reverb fees and as a buyer I'm you know we both pay it the seller pays the high reverb fees and the, the buyer pays the high reverb we we share in the reverb misery together but I, I don't buy from reverb any longer I'm done there um, I've moved on I just do Kijiji and my music stores and my pawn shops and uh, gear source or what is it called now gear you know what it used to be called gear sla you know what it used to be called um, and Facebook groups and things like that. There's lots of gear out there. No one has to pay the high fees at, at Reverb. But anyway, there we go. A little unboxing of a used ART Pro VLA2. And we're going to be making a ton of videos with this guy. So thanks for watching.